Hello, my fellow gears. Welcome, welcome back to the game. Welcome back to Yakuza Like a Dragon. Last time, we kind of went through the chairman's thing. Sarah Clan pretty easy. Oh, no. Ha. Uh, excuse me. Huh? Would you tell me how to get to the station? Huh? What nonsense you speaking? Would you tell me how to get to the station? <laughs> What? Oh shit. It's English. You Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry. What? That didn't do it, huh? Okay, let's see. Looks like someone needs to brush up on their English. Who are you? Huh? Can you tell me how to get to the station? Go straight and turn right. Go, go, go. Go your way. And believe in yourself. Oh, all right. Thank you. What? You are welcome. <laughs> Not bad, huh? What just happened? Guess that English certificate really paid off. Yeah, I guess so. My English sucks ass. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? If you can't handle English at that level, how do you expect to survive the effects of globalization? Can you repeat that? <laughs> I'm saying you need an international mindset. Haven't you ever wanted to work overseas, broaden your horizons? To do that, you need to study. So I started going here. Oh, this is a school? Ouna Bara Vocational, huh? Hmm. Yep. Been going here a while now. And guess how many certs I've racked up? Ten. Fifty. Oh, free. Fifty? For real? That's crazy. I have, like, none. You gotta change that, man. Now's the time to build yourself as an individual. If you're the only one without certifiable skills, I'm afraid you'll get left behind. Hey, I know. Why don't you sign up for a free trial? What, for vocational ed? Yeah. For a limited time only, they offer the first lesson free. Might as well give it a shot. I mean, you do want to develop your personality, don't you? Wait. Well, when you put it that way, sure. <laughs> Great. Then let's get you signed up right away. What? Uh, okay. I'm doing this now? This is a vocational school. First time being in one. Yep, it's one of the best in the industry, too. Anyway, the front desk's right over here. Oh, hello, Ikari-san. Uh, hey there, Miyakoshi-san. Pretty nice weather, huh? I mean, not like it affects us indoors, but... <laughs> Say, who did you bring along? Oh, right! He's a buddy of mine. Said he wanted to do a free trial. And of course, I was the one who invited him. <laughs> so that's what this is. You just brought me here so you could impress a girl, you sly dog. Oh, well, thanks for the referral, Ikari-san. Uh, it was nothing. It's not like I was up all night thinking what favors I could do to impress you or anything. <laughs> So my name's Miyakoshi, and I'm the school receptionist. It's very nice to meet you. I'm Ichiban Kasuga, and the pleasure's all mine. Kasuga-san, noted. Okay, well, why don't I give you the rundown on how we do things here? Better clean the wax out of those ears. Miyakoshi-san is lending us her precious time, so don't go spacing out. You're not helping. So what we aim to do is provide certified training for all kinds of job seekers and hobbyists alike. Just so you know, our pass rate is second to none. We are here to help passionate people find their footing. And that's why, here at Onabara, knowledge is yours to own. Whoa, so you guys are number one in the business? That's awesome. We certainly do our best. And while we do want you to pass your exam and get your certificate, there is more to it than that. What we emphasize here is gaining life experience. You know, personality development. Getting a grasp on who you are is the crux of higher learning. After all, what's the point of earning a piece of paper if you can't apply what you've learned? 
Well said, Miyakoshi-san. Poetry to the ears. Can you just be quiet? Uh. Anyway, I think I got the gist of it. I'm actually more interested in that personality development part, if anything. Excellent. Then I'll put you down for a trial lesson. Let me know whenever you're ready, and we'll go ahead and start your lesson. You got it. All right, let's go ahead and get this over. I'm very curious about what I have to do. Are you ready to start your trial lesson? Yeah. Yeah, let's do this. Perfect. Right this way. The field of one personality, passing the exam will prove difficult to set of his personality. You have to free try to pay the exam fee. Which exam would you like to take? Sports tier two. Not tier one? This one? All right. Make sure you have a pencil. How bad am I going to fail this? Maybe again. Baseball is a team sport. Exploring teams switch between opposite pitching the ball in such a way that it's not a breaking ball. What if falling? It's not a break ball. Uh. Uh. I'm gonna volley because it doesn't make sense. So what's the shooting the ball? Since the amount of points earned is turned with the court shot taken. That's three. <sighs> three pointer. There are ten objects with the dot. Score. Wait. There are pens. <sighs> So I just team split all three. What's the foul? What's the handling? <sighs> Let's push a metal ball or shot. Uh, shot put? about these two. Volley didn't make sense because volleyball is another sport. That should just about wrap it up. Thanks for trying us out. Whew, not bad for your first time, but long and treacherous is the road to mastery. Just ask this guy. I don't like it. This yeah. guy never shuts up, does he? Uh. What did you think of your lesson, Kasuga-san? I can say with confidence I've never studied so much in my life. It was kind of nice Oops. being in the classroom again, too. I think I got a lot out of that. I'm so glad to hear that. Each program here is dedicated to helping you become the person you've always wanted to be. And that said, would you be interested in full enrollment? It's free to enroll, of course. You only have to pay per class. Basically, it's a certificate fee. So what have you got to lose? Besides, you can trust me, Akoshi san I know I do. Bruh. Okay, you've made your point. I am curious which aspects of myself could use some fine tuning. Might as well find out, right? Everything. That's a good attitude to have. Sky's the limit, you know? Alright. Alright, thanks. Please let me know when you've found a course that interests you. Sure. But once I figure out where to start. I gotta say, there's a lot to choose from. Any advice for a newbie? Hmm. I suppose some guidance would be in order. <laughs> oh no. Then allow me, master of 50 plus certificates, to be your faithful guide. You? Oh, looks like we found ourselves the perfect volunteer. You sure you want to handle this, Ikari san? By all means. If it puts a smile on your face, then leave old shrub head to me. I'll show him the ropes. You really have no filter, do you? Well, by this point, Ikari-san has the most insight out of all the students here. Though he can be a bit of a handful. You could say that again. But hey, I'm determined. You hear that? I'm counting on you, senpai. <laughs> then I shall illumine your path. How about that, Mikoshi-san? I'm smart, and I look after my fellow man. Uh, if you say so. Anyway, Kasuga-san. Welcome to the start of your future. 
Okay, so I'm curious now for the heck of it. Can I help you? Take an exam. We have new certifications available. Fifty grand? Yeah, we're done. Come back when you're ready. For eight. Ready or for two breaks for that. But that's very interesting that there is that concept to this. I mean, if we want to max personality out, it's the best way to do it, it looks like. It's just we're broke. It would take like a hundred fights just to get the money up for that. But life goes on, I suppose. Alright, so our next goal is to go back to our buddy. I'm way far away, aren't I? Not really. But you really. I'll still see you guys in a second. You know, I just realized I didn't pause. Let's see what this is. Uh, I slept like a baby. I'm smart. Ooh. A nonsense moving, comforting low hum. Kicking back in a cold but comfy seat in complete and total darkness. The place is perfect when you need a nap. Yeah, I'll stop by again next time class is canceled. I don't remember anything about the movie, though. Well, that makes two of us. <laughs> <laughs> Vintage film theater. I guess they only show old movies here. Yeah. We're not an inn, you know. Have a little respect, huh? Yeah. This is a classic, too. Oh, great. Hey, mister. Interested in watching a movie? We've got some classic titles in-house. No. Well, well, I also get kind of sleepy when I'm in the dark watching a movie I don't really understand. I don't want to be disrespectful. <laughs> it's quite all right. But just because a film is old doesn't mean it's hard to follow. Old films span a whole range of genres, from sci-fi to romance, suspenseful thrillers to fun for the whole family. And of course, we have many titles that are just as spectacular as the latest and the greatest, guaranteed to keep you on the edge of your seat. Huh. These were long before CG, which means things like real explosions on the set don't get much better than that. In fact, I'll say it's downright fresh. So much so that I'm confident you'll feel refreshed by the time the credits roll. All right, I'll bite. You must really love movies. Your eyes light up whenever you talk about them. <laughs> well, I didn't choose to be a curator of vintage films for nothing. I simply want nothing more than for people of today to watch these films and find some joy, even if it's just a little. It'd be a waste if they were left to be forgotten. Wouldn't you agree? But then, I suppose that's entertainment. Never fleeting sparkle. Though it would be fantastic if people saw these films as a brilliant little sparkle in their own lives. I get ya. So that's why you opened up the theater. Correct. The Seagull Cinema is a place where anyone of any age can come to appreciate the classics. Though, anyone also includes those who fall asleep during the screening. <laughs> Regardless, this is a good opportunity for you to get a taste of the classics for yourself. And since it's your first time, this one's on the house. Really? You sure? Quite. I'd like you to see all the good this place has to offer. Free movie ain't bad, I'll give it a shot. You know, let's go ahead and get well, this out of the way. Well, I guess today's gonna be so halfway well. side questing. Excellent. Right this way, please. The question is, do I have to watch? Probably. Today's showing is a monumental piece. Robo Cook. Half culinary drama, half gunslinging <laughs> action masterpiece. I can watch this what? over and over again and never get tired of it. <laughs> Wait, you're gonna watch too? Of course. As a curator, I'm allowed to watch any film I want at any time I please. All right. This guy built this place just so he can sit around watching his favorite movies all day. I believe that. Still, I guess that's pretty cool. Well, 
It's about to start. No sleeping during the screening now. We must show our utmost respect for those who brought these splendid works to life. I dare say that even blinking would be a waste of precious screening time. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> oh, shit. <laughs> this place is weirdly comfy. Damn. Now I'm sleepy as hell. That guy was nice enough to let me in here. Don't fall asleep. And then... Yep. This ain't gonna end well. I have no memory who I once was. I don't know who I am. Why I was born. Family loved ones. I don't remember any of them. But I do know one thing. I live to cook. What is this madness? I love to cook. Alright, I'll bite. Hopefully I can stay awake. What? Shit, it always make me so sleepy. The freaking was that thing? What? What is this? Maybe because I'm falling asleep. Test your reviews complete by playing Sway inputs and stop those pesky REM grams from playing co You're making a better man. Defeat normal RAM by pressing display to inputs. REM RAMs with a rapid can be defeated by pressing input five times. Alarm clocks of chickens will heal you, but if you hit them, they'll take advantage. If you press the wrong button, you'll take damage. We reach the point where it's freshly born and gives you a foe rush, but gold REMs will appear to get extra sleep and just deal with them quickly. Challenge your movie ends, cost of good thing is movie name, the current score. Oh, freak. Oh, freak, there's so many freaking RAMs. This reminds me of freaking Catherine for some reason. But it's stupid. This is really dumb. But I love it so far. Like. <sighs> oh, Freya hit the. No, come on. We got this. We got this. Wake up. Alright, we're having almost nodded off there. First stage clear. Wait, there's oh great. What? Whew, made it through. exciting scene, but him using that same technique over and over again to me to sleep. I'm sleepy all of a sudden. Oh, God bless it. Come on, you have this, Dasuga. Battle stage stuff. Alright. We can keep this up. Just hit the button. We'll be in great shape. I don't need to hit the chicken. of enemies. Okay. Freaking chicken. I mean, this really isn't that hard. It's just press the button at the right time. Was awesome. Battle stage clear. 900 points, 8400. I wonder what happened if I didn't hit those chickens. But oh, it's just getting good. This flavor, 
This war I'm not just cooking. I remember. The secret ingredient is salt. What? I feel bad for doing that. Actually. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done that. Tell my mother's secret recipe. I'm gonna continue cooking until I'm very last breath. This is the dumbest concept of a movie ever. He gets strong by remembering his family. That's actually kind of touching. That was awesome. I got passion for that too. I got a ring. Okay. That was kind of worth it for. Ooh, at least I was able to stay awake. That was pretty good though. Guess it doesn't matter how old it is. In good movies, good movies. That's true. I probably would have got my whole life without watching one of these if it wasn't for this place. This guy really wants everyone to enjoy the classics, huh? There's still a lot I haven't seen, so I should come take a breather when I have time. What were the other two guys? Thanks for today, Mr. Curate. Are you freaking kidding me? <sighs> Are you freaking kidding people? <sighs> oh, sure. Respect the classics. <laughs> I mean, we are done a lot of subplots randomly. This wasn't even intentional, but you know, might as well do it. Ironically enough, there really isn't much left to do with what time we have. So next time on Yakuza Like a Dragon, for real this time, we're gonna go hit up our employer.